fourth year doing, doing it. Uh, the first year, like, I don't really know how much it counted. We did it in a van, and we only did a couple weeks. But technically, this is our fourth, fourth year on the Warped Tour. Um, really excited to be here. It's cool, like, having done it for a few years in a row now. Um, because you just kind of, you learn a lot, and you, by the time you get on it this many times, you sort of get right into the swing of things. Climb the rungs. So we sort of jumped on this time and immediately knew what was going on, and uh, it was all very smooth. So it's been fun. We just made a lot of friends and uh, a lot of, a lot of hangs on the sides of mountains. A lot of enemies. Don't be a douchebag. Yeah, there's no room. There's no room for rock stars on this tour. Yeah, you're all kind of like you're all living together for you know two months, whatever it may be. And if you screw up any relationships, you know they kind of hang over you for the next two months. And, and we've never really had a problem with it. Like we get along with everyone, but we've had bands that you know just kind of like just complain a lot or just are too diva-ish and it just doesn't work out that way. Diva-ish. diva ish diva ask. Don't be a dick. D-B-A-D. We have some kind of like signings every day, whether it's like out here on Warped Tour, whether it's after the show or something, we're always like meeting everyone. But it's tough because like, you know, back in the day we could hang out with fans outside for hours on end, talk to them. You know, they get a little bit bigger, security's an issue, streets, you know, being crowded is an issue, and it's kind of like, it's a, it's a difficult balance between doing that and keeping the fans happy, but then the fans being like, well, you used to do this. It's, it's a tough balance to keep, but I think we've done a, you know, a fairly good job so far, and I think we'll continue to still, do so. Yeah, we still, the, I think the thing that counts is we still try to make a conscious effort to think of ways to keep it feeling real. Um, after Warp Tour, we have uh, a tour planned in the UK. Europe. A little before, oh yeah, the UK and Europe, um, the rest of Europe. We, uh, we, uh, before that, we're doing some of the VMA shows for MTV. Um, and then after we get back from Europe, we have a big fall tour planned with We The Kings, Hey Monday, and uh, the Friday Night Boys. So that takes us like into December. Yeah. European audiences aren't uh, nearly as spoiled. Like, and not in a mean way, but you go over there and they don't get it as often. So they're, they're so excited about everything, every single song, you know, everything you do, they're just so stoked on. And, uh, you know, because like I said, here, these kids could see us four times in a year. You know, at least, and then in the UK, they might—they're lucky to see us once. You know, so right. it's sort of—it's sort of—it's like that anywhere outside of the states, right? right. It's like Australia is the same way. Japan was insane.